Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon. I am back with another episode. Thank y'all for tuning in. I really, really appreciate it. Today is still Tuesday, September 3rd, 2024. And this is an email topic. Well, not exactly a topic. I'm making it a topic, but it's an email that I received. I told y'all that I get some strange emails. I get a lot of hater emails. I get a lot of whatever. You you can only imagine. Here's an example. It's not an email topic. I'm just making it a topic because somebody had, took the time out of their life, their schedule, or what have you, to email me this. And they really thought they were saying some deep stuff. So, it said, Big Ward, I've been following you for a while now. But that's before I knew that you love them white folks the way that you do. <laughs> I wrote it down. No, no bullshit. Big Ward, I've been following you for a while. Now, but that's before I knew that you love them white folks. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. Oh, my side. Hold on. That before I knew that you love them white folk the way that you do. <laughs> how, how are you going to vote for a known racist like Trump and go against someone of your own race? You're going to find out that they don't care anything about your black ass. I'm unsubscribing. <laughs> I want to read that again, y'all. Hold on. If you have an email topic, something you want me to discuss, there ain't no bullshit like this, bigwardinmyyahoo.com. And if you on some hating tip, some bullshit, I'm sending you to the spam from here on out. So therefore, you haters that been emailing me, y'all going straight to spam, and I don't check my spam no more. Some of y'all emails that didn't email me some bullshit, you wonder why I haven't responded. I have a lot of emails going to the spam, and I don't read my spam anymore because of the trolls that I send to spam. When I see that you're a troll, I'm sending you to spam, and I'm not reading my spam. I'm not checking the spam. So, hopefully, hold on, my side. You're laughing so hard as you catch a cramp in your side. Hold on. My, my, my cramp, my side. Hold on, y'all. <laughs> I, I don't know if I should read this again. Big Ward. So y'all, my handwriting kind of, see at the bottom of the state, they, 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 gonna, they don't care about your black ass, I'm unsubscribing. I've been following your channel for a while now. But that's before I knew. Big Ward, I'd have known. You love them white folk. I'd have been left your ass. Before I knew that you love them white folks the way that you do, how are you going to vote for a known racist like Trump and go against someone of your own race? You're going to find out that they don't care anything about your black ass. And last but not least, I'm unsubscribing. Yes, y'all. This is what I deal with on a daily basis. This is one of my funniest though. To me, at least. No, I'm not bothered. It's funny. You can unsubscribe if you haven't already. And I'm sending you to the spam section. If you happen to email me again. I'll never see it again. Now, 
I see it for a fact. I'm not voting for Kamala Harris. I'm not sure about Trump. I said it between Trump and the couch. I'm voting policy, not race, not popularity, not morals, not if he a Christian or not, whether he go to church or not, whether she go to church, whether, whether they married, whether they been divorced, whether they cheat on their wife or husband. I ain't voting on none of that. Policy. And the number one policy I care about is the economy. I don't care nothing about abortion, gay marriage, none of that. And that's because I do love black folks. And some black folks in particular that I love, to name a few, myself. I'm black. I love myself. I'm voting. For my well-being, my son, he's black. His mom is black, who I have to pay child support to, who I pay health insurance for him. When she needs extra help, I do it. Christmas, birthdays, you name it, shoes, school. I don't say take it out the child support. I pay that too. My son ain't going to want for nothing. I ain't going to let nothing get in the way of me providing a good life for my son, including a Democrat that I feel have bad policies for the economy. That's going to interfere with me taking care of those black folks I just named. What's me voting for who I think will get the economy rolling again the way I can provide for the black folks that I love? How does that equate to me loving them white folks. Which I don't hate white folk. But what that got to do because I'm voting for it, hold on, let me, let me repeat that. Let me, let me reverse. That I'm thinking about voting for Donald Trump. Or not voting at all. See, y'all missed that part. I'm, I'm in between Trump and the couch. Kamala Harris is ruled out. Her policies will destroy, well, let me finish, put it this way, will finish destroying America. We are already, we are already on the brink of destruction. She's going to finish the job. Now, and the reason I say that, she got all these great ideas. I'll read a Facebook post the other day. They can't wait to come to get in office, you know, one of her supporters, so she can bring these prices down. The way she can fix it, the way we can afford to buy houses again. She can bring the grocery prices down, get inflation under control. And I'm saying to myself, if she know how to do all that, and I know some of y'all going to say, like Ply, she ain't the president. She the vice president. But she worked with the president, the current president. Ain't they supposed to be cool? Ain't they co-workers? Ain't they working together for the betterment of our country? Aren't they working together? Aren't they on the same team? If Biden and Kamala Harris are not on the same team, or are they enemies? They just put up a front for us, acting like they're together, but behind the scenes they can't stand each other. If they're doing that, that's still shady. How are you going to trust somebody who's willing to go through all that to fool the American people? Looking like they down for each other, like they on the same team, but behind closed doors, they don't even speak. So if that ain't what's going on, if they're not putting on a front for us, and that they really are close and down for each other and working together as a team for the betterment of America, if she got all these good ideas that y'all say, when she get an offer, she's going to bring the prices down, she's going to lower the housing costs, she going to do this, do that, and the other to make America better. She got all these great ideas. Even though she ain't the president, she the vice president, and she got direct access to the president, they supposed to be partners, working together, co-workers, same team, trying to make America better, 
All they care about is the betterment of America, not their own ego. Joe Biden is such a great, unselfish man, as y'all say. He loved this country. So if he loved this country and he's doing a horrible job, if his ideas ain't working, which they're not, because she claiming to have ideas that going to fix all this what's going on, she going to fix it. So it's got to be broke, right? Y'all admitting it's broke because you're saying you can't wait till she get in to lower the prices, to fix the economy, to make housing affordable again. So obviously y'all admitting that it's broke under Biden. But you're saying she's going to come in, you can't wait till she come in and fix it. So if she got the idea on how to fix it, why she won't tell Biden? Since she love America so much, and see how bad, I'm, so she's going to keep it to herself for when she elected, and she going to do it so she'll look good. She ain't going to tell Biden these great ideas she have. That's going to lower prices, make housing affordable. All the great things y'all believe she going to do. Even though she ain't done an interview live yet, she do some bullshit. She got to have a little vice president with her. They interview her about five minutes, throw some softball questions like Steve Harvey admitted he was doing. I'm throwing her softballs. I'm not going to ask no tough questions. That's everybody that interview her. They already decided. They're not asking her no tough questions. They need her to win. They can't have her looking bad. So... I love them white folk, according to you, because I see through that bull. Seeing through bullshit means I love them white folk. <laughs> My people perish for a lack of knowledge. Because I'm voting on stuff that matters, not race. Third good Marshall said, a black snake will bite you like a white snake. If I think she's a snake, so just because she's black, I'm going to vote for her anyway. Like a black snake can't be as poor as another white snake. I don't want a snake, period. Y'all might say, well, Trump a snake. I got experience. I got a track record, something to look at when it comes to Trump. As for being president, he, he would not be new to me. I've seen how his policies work. I like his policies better than the policies we have now. Therefore, I'm voting to get what he had going back. If you can't understand that, that ain't my problem. Unsubscribe. Go around saying big war love and white folk. So voting for policy is a white thing. Voting for identity politics is a black thing. That's when you're black. You got to vote Democrat or you ain't black. Joe Biden. So me deciding to open my mind, think for myself, examine the two candidates for myself, Based my vote based on policy, that's a white thing. That's somebody who love white folks. Like how y'all niggers talk down on somebody black who speaks proper English. He talking white. Same thing. You find a black man that speaks proper English, the niggas gonna say he trying to be white. Because he speaks proper English. These are the type of people that I came up around and that I'm trying to get the hell away from now. Get as far away from these ignorant ass as I can. I don't want nothing to do with nobody with that mindset. If y'all don't want to rob with me, I'm more than happy to let you go. Because I don't want to rock with you either if you that ignorant. To think that just because I don't want to vote for who you want me to vote for, I love white folks. Me considering Trump means I love white folks. And there's something wrong with loving white folks. And there's something wrong with loving any damn body. Y'all claim to be the party of loving and accepting everybody, 
but then you want to criticize me if you think I love white folks. Like white folks ain't people. So what if I do love white folks? Is something wrong with that? I ain't supposed to look, I'm supposed to hate them? I can't hate nobody that ain't done nothing to me personally. Or to my family and friends. The people that enslaved us, well, not me, not us, I ain't never been a slave. But the people that enslaved my ancestors, just like those ancestors are no longer living, the people that enslaved them aren't living either. Well, they, they, uh, the sinners are living and they benefit. I ain't got nothing to do with that. I ain't got shit to do with that. I worry about what I can fix, what I can do something about. I can't do nothing about some white guy, ancestors, own slaves. And somehow he may be getting some money from what his ancestor did from owning slaves. What the hell am I going to do about that? If it's true, if, if Billy Bob over there is a descendant of a slave master, and the house he got is because his uncle, a great, 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 great granddaddy was a slave master, and therefore he got a house because of that, what I'm going to do? So if I can't do nothing about that, I'm not effing with Billy Bob about his granddad or great granddad was a slave master. That ain't got shit to do with me. Y'all weird. Extremely weird. And that's why I stay over here by myself. Where well, well, y'all know I ain't by myself, but you... Away from other humans. I stay as far away from humans as I possibly can. I've been having lately a few people, like uh, yesterday, a guy, he a truck driver from my area. I was at the park store getting stuff from my old school. He walked up to me. Hey, man, I love your channel. I'm like, more and more that's going on. And I'm looking like, I'm, I'm, I'm doing my hair like this. Like, I hope I ain't got to punch this joker. But he was cool. He was cool. But I would like for y'all to do, I don't mind you introducing yourself to me. But before you walk up on me, because I might swing on you, but listen, I'm dead serious. When you walk up on me, you better introduce yourself from a distance. Big Ward, I'm a fan of your channel. If you ain't willing to do that, you might get swung on. And if I hit you, nine times out of ten, you're going to be knocked out. I hit hard. I'm very paranoid. I don't trust nobody. I don't like people walking up on me. As y'all can see, if you follow me for a minute, y'all know I got some weirdos now. I got some haters. I got some people that don't like me that don't even know me. So therefore, my guard on even on higher alert now. So I would advise y'all. And to my man that walked up on me yesterday, I pre I, it was nice meeting you. That wasn't a good idea. So, from here on out, if you see me out in public, if you want to speak to me, if you want to say, hey, I like your channel, give me 20 feet before you walk up on me. Allow me to give you permission to walk up on me. If you ain't willing to do that, don't say nothing to me. You might say, big boy, I ain't doing all that. That's fine, you ain't got to. I'm telling you my rules. I'm telling you what to keep you from getting punched in the mouth or something worse. I'm paranoid. I fear for my life. I got people writing me, just foolishness, talking about, I love white folk called who I want to vote for. Like I hate my sister who I went to visit yesterday. Love you, Bridget. Love you, Allison. Get well soon. I love you, Trina. Love you, Mona. All my cousins, family, friends, I love you, JJ. Jacoby. I love all y'all. And everybody I just named is black. Now, some white folk. Marshall. Randy. The white folk that I love too. I told y'all about Randy, the guy I went fishing with my coworker. I don't know if y'all remember that story. I went fishing with a racist. Or a guy I thought was a racist. Turned out to be one of the coolest white guys I ever met in my life. One of the coolest people I ever met. So therefore, I ain't hate nobody based on their race. I judge them off their character. I used to hate you because you was white. 
I don't do that no more. I was taught that bullshit. Racism is a taught behavior. Kids are not born racist. They're taught to be racist. I was taught to be racist until I learned better. Then I realized it's my own kind that hate me the most, not the white folk. Not them white folks. My own folks hate me the most. So, what up Marshall? What up Randy? John? A few more other white guys that I know personally as friends of mine. That I can go to, even though I don't ask for shit, I know I can ask them for anything, they're going to come through. As a matter of fact, them crappy fish that I love, that I can't get a hold to unless it's cool because I just talked to Marshall the other day. He said it got to be cool. He the one gave me them goddamn crappy that I ate that I'm hooked on to this day. I, I got he, he the one give me the crappy. A white guy. So I guess I do love them white folks. But I love other folk too. I only hate who hate me. And whoever hate me, I don't even hate you. I just keep you from around me. I ain't got time to be using that ne to having all that negative energy in my life hating folks. So even if you hate me, I don't hate you. I just don't deal with you. Simple as that. So yes, I do love them white folks. But not for what you're saying because I'm voting for somebody that ain't black. But I love what black folk too. Not all of them. I don't love all white folk. I don't love all nobody. I love who love me. Some white folk love me. I love some white folk. Some black folk love me. I love some black folk. But all this, I love white folk out of my political view. You an idiot. And I don't like calling people that. This is an idiot. What else can you call it? So anyway, I'm voting on policy. I'm trying to get my finances at an extremely high level. I'm voting for the one that's going to help me do that. At least that what I believe is going to help me do that. I ain't voting based on race, moral, whether you're a sinner or not, none of that. What's your policy? And as of right now, Miss Kamala Harris Black, white, green, Chinese, I don't give a damn what she is. She ain't really talking much. The only time she gonna give an interview is in a friendly home team environment. She's not going to a hostile, somebody who's gonna ask her some hard questions that's not on script where she gotta give an answer off the top of her head. She ain't doing that. She hasn't done it yet, and she ain't gonna do it. So I vote how I wanna vote. If I, don't, if I love them white folks, so be it. What up, white folk? Get it? Got it? Good. Bye.